sole traders, then we will move on to partnership. Okay? But sole traders, what is going to happen? What is the purpose? All right, let me see the participants and one by one, I will be asking you guys to read it out first so that when you will be reading it, others will be, you know, listening and you will also be getting a nice idea of what's happening. Okay, let me ask Miss Mary, can you please uh, go ahead and read these three points? Yeah. Miss Mary, Chris, yeah. Purpose of preparing final accounts for sole traders, a uh, profit or loss determination. Final accounts help determine the net profit or loss incurred during a specific period. And this is crucial for a sole trader to understand the financial success or challenges the business has faced. Um, business performance evaluation. The information provided in final accounts allow the sole trader to assess the overall performance performance of the business. By analyzing income and expenses, the trader can identify areas of strength, weaknesses, and opportunities for improvement. Uh, decision making uh, by analyzing income and expenses, the trader can identify areas of strength weaknesses and opportunities for improvement. By understanding the financial position, the trader can make strategic um, decisions to improve profitability and sustainability. Very good. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. Uh, there are simple points, but I have written the, the lips within these points so that, you know, uh, the sort of a small explanation would be there in front of you. Okay. Profit and loss on a denomination a sole trader would know that whether he is into profits or whether he is into losses. Okay, after making the final accounts. Business performance evaluation, obviously, he has all the information in front of him. The final accounts are there, everything is there. So it's easier for him to know what is his performance, what is his business performance, uh, like how was the year? Was he into really good profits? Was he into losses? What was the trend? Okay? and what he can do in the future for the forecasting would be really easy for him okay and the decision making again over here they are saying that areas for strength weaknesses and opportunities from improvement he can sort out for these okay and understanding the financial position the trader can make strategic decisions to improve for profitability and sustainability this is a very concise and very nice term that strategic decisions can easily be made when you have everything in front of you and then you have made the decisions having same mind and having you know everything assessed in a proper way uh, you know using all the tools like ratio analysis and everything okay so it helps a lot in decision making for the future okay i hope these three points are clear yeah guys yes ma'am yes, okay ma that that's great that's good okay Let's move on. Okay, these these points. Who is going to go ahead? Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss Melanie. Yes. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Uh, the first one is taxation. Five accounts provide the necessary information for calculating the tax liability of the business. Accurate financial reporting is crucial for compliance with tax regulations, ensuring that the business pays the correct amount of taxes. Second one is financial position and solvency. The balance sheet included in the final accounts reflects the final position of the business, showing its assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. This information is vital for assessing the solvency and overall financial health of the business. Third one is communication with stakeholders. Final accounts serve as a means of communication with various stakeholders, such as creditors, investors, and potential buyers. Transparent financial reporting fosters trust and confidence among stakeholders. Fourth one is a Credit worthiness assessment. 
lenders and creditors often rely on the financial statement of the business to assess its credit worthiness. Final accounts provide crucial information about the financial stability and ability of the business to meet its financial obligations. Yes, perfect. Good. That's for the sheet and the expenditures you will get to know from the income sheet. Okay. Financial position is what is financial position? Obviously, the assets, liabilities, and all the owners' equity will tell you about the financial position. Okay, because uh, the equity would tell you that how efficient you are to pay off your liabilities, right? The remaining uh, of the equities. Then communication with the stakeholders. Over here, the stakeholder means the creditors, investors, and potential buyers, the one who are investing in your company. Investing means, uh, you know, some people who are, you know, um, coming in, you know, and they are benefiting for your business. They, by investors means it does not mean that they, you know, the share thing because this is the sole trader, right? The creditors are the ones who are owing you, and the potential buyers are the ones who are, you know, you know that okay, they are coming to buy the products from you. Okay, so this communication with them is again uh, very, very, you know, uh, you will get a very good idea from your uh, final accounts regarding this because you will have a, have a picture in front of you that how much liability you have, how much receivables you have in front of you, and how much sales you made. So this is going to give you a great idea that how good your communication is with your stakeholders, right? The more the receivables, the more the sales, the more the cash, and even the cash as well, uh, and um, uh, even the liability, because you know, uh, liability would also mean that you know you are purchasing stuff on credit, but obviously you are doing it for the business, right? So um, that's why you know uh, uh, it is going to give you a very very nice picture of it. Okay, uh, then. Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, credit worthiness of, uh, assessment. Lenders and creditors often rely on the financial statements of a business to assess its credit worthiness. Credit worthiness means how much you know you are liable to uh, you know uh, pay off your liabilities. Okay, and like your what do you call it? How much a company uh, or uh, sorry, how much a client or the other party can trust? Okay. Final account provides crucial information about the financial stability and ability of a business to meet its financial obligations. Okay. Uh, see, each and every other party whom you are dealing with has to have a confidence uh, with you, right? So, whenever, for example, they are going to look into your final account, so they can have a very good idea about your credit worthiness. So, if they have trust with you, they will again continue dealing with you, right? And continue having contracts with you. Okay. Then the last two points. Okay, Mr. Shell. Ms. Shell, can you unmute your mic and go ahead with this? Ms. Shell, are you yes? Okay, she's here. Dear, you're not an, uh, able to hear you. Is your mic working properly? If it's not working here, you can uh, exit the meeting and enter again. I will edit you, okay? Because I can see that your mic is uh, like not muted. It's open, but uh, we cannot hear you. Okay, Miss Isaac, can you read this slide? Hello, Miss Alaikum. Wa Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is planning. Uh, final accounts are valuable for business planning. They provide insight into the financial aspect of the business, helping the sole trader plan for future investment, expansion, or changes in business strategy, retirement, or sale of the business. When a sole trader decides to re retire or sell the business, Final accounts play a significant role. They provide a basis for determining the, the, the value of the business are the essential for negoti negotiating with potential buyers or su successors. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. 
So what are they saying here? Business planning is again somewhat or the other. They are saying the same thing that it is going to give you a clear idea that how much can you make investment, how much can you expand in the future, how can how much is the potential for changing your business strategy. So a clear and a very nice final account that you make. By nice, I mean a very transparent and very you know clear, giving you a very clear for the diamond or the sale of the business. For example, if a sale 